Hey, uh, CJ Stroud got named the starting quarterback for, 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 for the opener. Uh, how good has he looked from your vantage point? You've got a pretty good vantage point back right. there I mean, in preseason. I can tell you this. All the guys who competed for that job uh, could have started. I mean, every single one of them, Kyle, Jack, um, CJ, they're all great, great quarterbacks. They're all going to have great careers. But um, like I said, they're all great, and they all gave us problems and fits. And they can throw the ball, all three of them. But CJ specifically, what does he bring that reminds you, remind you of Justin in I mean, any way? Uh, just, go ahead. He's his own guy. I mean, CJ's his own guy. He's, he's, you know, he leads in a different way. Um, he's his own man, and he plays. He's got his own style, and you guys will see day one, you know, what he brings to the table, and he won't disappoint any of that. He seems to be very. He seems to have great touch on the deep ball. You know, yeah. He, the, well, give, give me some examples. Of what yeah, you've I mean, seen he, he can throw the deep ball. I mean, like I said, he, you're gonna see. You're gonna see. So don't worry. There goes the game plan. <laughs> Bryson, with what you guys. Assuming to shifting to your defense, man. three safeties, does that kind of make you guys excited for more more opportunities in the defense for all you guys? I mean, yeah, we're all excited. We pushed, like I said earlier, we pushed one another you know, to go to depths we've never been to. So, um, you know, you'll see, like, great guys all over the field at every position. So we'll be ready. You, you've been in the room with, with Josh Proctor for a while now. What's different about him this year? He said that he's worked on his communication and things like that. What, what do you see differently? I mean, he's a great communicator. He's forming into a great leader. He is a great leader. I mean, he's since I've been here, he's been nothing but a great leader. Um, you know, like I said, when I first got here, Jordan Fuller was here, and uh, I don't think there's a better leader than Jordan Fuller you know, that I've been around ever. So we kind of he's taught Josh, myself, everyone that's been around him how to be a better leader. So. I'll forever be thankful for Jordan Fuller for that. Do you, guys, do you think that you guys struggled a little bit last year trying to find the next Jordan as far as leadership comes? Mm. I mean, we were young, like I said, like, like you kind of just said, we were young. I wouldn't say we struggled with it. I just think, you know, big dogs got to start barking more, you know? So <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting it. We're getting it. Yes, and now that you're a few years into the program, how have you maybe used some of your cross skills to kind of translate on a football field? I mean, lacrosse is lacrosse and football is football. I mean, you run a lot of lacrosse, but, you know, football is a different level. You know, you got to be detailed. I mean, it's just a different level. So it's helped me in staying, when staying in shape, coming in shape. But, you know, to be honest, football is just a totally different game. Have you talked with Brian Day or Matt Barnes about it? Have they mentioned it? Have they, like, kind of poked out? Nah, no, nah, we, we haven't talked about any lacrosse. Yeah, but like I mentioned, you're a couple years into the program. What's something that Bryson Shaw wants to show Buckeye Nation and the rest of the audience? I just want to show, you know, that I'm a tough guy. You know, I won't back down from anything. I'm not scared of anything. Um, I just, you know, I like busting my butt. I like just going and giving it my all, and I think you, know, you guys will see that. Bryson, aside from the, the difference in just experience for you guys in the safety room, how different is it for the entire secondary to have the last year be somewhat normal with – the change from Coach Halfley to Coach Combs, and now Coach Combs to Matt Barnes, kind of running the most of the secondary. Right. How different are things now as far as just confidence in your work? I mean, like you said, the COVID last year, I mean, that was really hard. I mean, we did the Zoom calls, but we all know, meeting with one another in person, getting that chemistry, it makes a world of difference. And I think you'll see that difference you know, on the field this year. I mean, we're way closer than we've ever been as a unit. What's the difference between Matt Barnes' coaching style and Kerry Combs? How, how do they how do they work together, but how do they also stand they, out? They complement one another great. I mean, they're both really smart guys. I mean, you guys know that. I mean, you know their backgrounds. And um, just having those two guys coach our unit, coach myself, it's, it's really a blessing. You know, we're lucky to have both those guys. Is there